Hi. It's June 4, 2018, and we're going to Thailand. We already have our gate pass. Boarding time is 5:45. Two hours before our flight and now we are getting some coffee and some what are you getting <laughs> just got here and we're heading to the immigration with the gap the immigration as we were heading outside we were looking for the exit and then a guy approached us I thought he's gonna show us the way out but then he brought us to this tour service booth and then the woman there he she started showing us city tours I already planned where we're going I already planned that we're taking tuk tuk to go to different places because our hotel is just in the city but I was convinced that if I'm going to avail the tour package, uh, it will be more convenient for us because we have a little girl and we'll have more time to look around. That's what they so told us. So after we paid, the guy suddenly showed us the way out. So I think he was just pretending that he didn't understand me the first time. Lane number 10. We just left our stuff there and then we head outside to eat lunch. Where we went to it was closed I think it was over at Chinatown 
So we just decided to go to a nearest mall to get some food and water.
We are now leaving the reclining Buddha temple. We're heading to another destination. We are now leaving the marble temple. We also went to this jewelry factory, not that we wanted to, but our tourist guide said that we have to. I didn't even know that's included to our tour. It was so hard to go anywhere because there were like four or five people following you. They're very pushy. So I ended up buying this $15 earrings just for them to leave me alone and then we can leave. No offense, but I think it's a waste of time going there because we went there to Thailand to go sightseeing not to go shopping. So is the city tour worth it? No, because our tour guide was always in a hurry. She will explain things, but then when it comes to taking pictures, she will always ask, are you done? Are you done? And she always want to go. Um, I thought we we're going to have more time to look around because it's a private tour. We're only four in our group. It's disappointing that the tour guide was always in a hurry and we paid for the tour. Go so baby! city tour was done we had lunch after that and then we decided to look for a taxi to take us to this place where we could ride elephant but it was so hard to look for a taxi because most of the driver doesn't speak or understand English so much and I would say no to you immediately uh, we weren't looking for someone who really like fluent in English but when you ask them for this place they would say no to you maybe it's so far also it will take two hours to get there and they just don't wanna go that far but good thing we found the right one <laughs>
Escadian friends. just go directly to the place where you could just ride an elephant first you have to go ride a boat of course you have to pay for it and you'll go through the floating market and that way the locals will be able to sell their stuff and then after the floating market then you'll reach the place where you could ride an elephant going back we didn't have to ride the boat again because our driver was waiting outside the place Kaosan Road We are now in Kaosan Road We're in Bangkok Always bring extra cash if you're riding a tuk-tuk or a taxi um, Like what happened to us uh, Our taxi didn't want to turn on his meter His meter was covered with cardboard with sketch tape around it um, That's the taxi from airport to our hotel He asked for 600 baht Going back, this is a different taxi uh, From hotel to the airport Meter was on, it was just 400 baht The receptionist at the hotel told us to pay 100 baht if we're riding a tuk-tuk. Um, that will go a long way, but we end up paying 150, 180. So it's important that you have extra cash. <laughs> so much fun in Thailand I got to bond with my sisters and see new places which is awesome and this is something I will treasure forever thank you guys for watching <laughs>